Hi everybody, I'm Jay Fenichel. We're gonna be talking a little bit about a drum roll. This is a question I get from students a lot where they just wanna get into the proper technique for finding an open drum roll. We're not gonna talk too much about the closed roll, that's gonna be a different lesson, but for this one we're gonna really focus on that open roll feeling. Okay, now the trick to a good balanced open roll, and this is where I see a lot of students make the mistake, is actually in the fulcrum. The fulcrum is where your fingers connect with the stick and you're gonna make this seesaw or teeter-totter type of feeling. Now the idea before you even try to do a good open roll is to understand the concept of the fulcrum. So I notice I'm just keeping my fingers. Now some people keep it on their index and thumb, other people do their middle finger, but you can really use any finger once you get good at it. And as I play, depending on the volume that I'm trying to get, I'll actually switch that fulcrum down through my fingers. Now this is something we go over in the drum lesson vault on a different lesson just on the fulcrum. So it's something you can get very deep into. So we're not gonna go too crazy right now, but just understanding the idea that the stick wants to rebound on that fulcrum. Now see how loose I am? And I have a space in here. I'm keeping this whole thing nice and open and letting the stick just fall. Now I'm using my middle finger here and my thumb is staying on the side. Now if I was to hit this as hard as I could, the stick would actually come all the way back. Notice my back fingers are out of the way and I'm getting that stick to rebound. That's all rebound, that's all the stick. Now what I tell the students is, I equate this to opening the faucet like on a sink. So that would be opening the faucet all the way. Uh, the water flow is equivalent to energy, okay? So if you open the faucet and you let the water out all the way, you're letting all the energy out. And that's what this is. This is completely opening the faucet. Now, likewise, if I was to close that faucet and shut the flow of water, I would do this and control that energy. Notice I kept my hand flat. As I come down, the stick is under control. I stop the energy. I absorb it. Not by squeezing, you never wanna squeeze, just by keeping your fingers and fulcrum on that stick, it's enough to allow that stick not to wanna to rebound back. Okay, so just as two opposite feelings, opening the flood, closing it. Open the faucet, close the faucet. Two extreme opposites. Now both ways, no matter what I do, I don't change my fulcrum, and that's really the most important thing to understand. This fulcrum is always going to remain the same, whether you open it or you close it. The only thing that's really changing is my back fingers, the fingers back here. If I keep my fingers against the stick, that closes it. If I open my fingers up, that opens it, okay? Fulcrum never changes, and this is where people run into trouble with their open roll. Most people feel like what you do is you squeeze the fulcrum and push into the drum. Now, if you notice, doing it that way works. The challenge is it doesn't feel good. You're tight, you're tense, and you're pushing into the drum. Doing it this way, you'll actually do that without the tension, without that push. So now, what's the middle ground between opening the faucet and closing the faucet? The middle ground is gonna be opening the fingers halfway, just a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my fingers and just kind of open them that much. And now I have a little bit of play between my fingertips and my palm. Now when I open that faucet, I get that. Now notice I'm just letting that bounce happen. It's rebounding off my fingertips, the palm of my hand, fulcrum is staying loose, and I'm keeping it nice and relaxed. Now if I want an open roll, we're only talking about two bounces, not multiple bounces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that faucet right after two bounces. I just took my fingers and brought them in. I'm not talking about a squeeze here, I'm just talking about this much. You notice, here it is, bring it in. So, stopping it after two. If you could find that from opening the floodgates, closing them, opening it halfway, and then stopping it after two, there's your open bounce. Once you have that, I'd practice going back and forth in form, and trying to put your hands together. Until you make that happen. Now notice I'm not just starting from the slow sticking. I'm not just going right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Now that technically is the open roll sticking. Two rights, two lefts. But the challenge is that's not how we feel it. We're feeling that in single strokes. So we're actually playing a double with the right hand, but two single motions for each double right. 
two single motions. And that's not how we feel a drum roll. So you're trying to develop here is this feeling of coming down once, then controlling two rebounds. And we do it the way I just explained. So that's something I want you to practice. Go back, see if you could find your fulcrum, develop that. If you have to go back to the fulcrum exercise in the drum lesson vault, work that out first, and then try to apply it here to a double stroke roll. So that sums up our double stroke roll lesson. Hope that's clear to everybody. Make sure to leave your comments, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Have a good one.